Hello, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be working on my 2009. Today I'm going to be working on my 2009 Honda Accord. Um, there's a problem with the window switch. Now I'll try to show you. I'll try to show you the problem. The problem is when you put the window down, that's fine, it'll work. But when you go to put the window back up, it keeps going back down. It doesn't matter how many times you do it, it'll still keep coming back down. The only other way to do it is to, if you just slow, slowly just tip it, don't put it on auto, and it will go up then, and it'll close. But the problem with that is I have children, and children play with buttons. So um, I'm going to try reset it now. So um, where the problem is, uh, where the problem is, is in this, um, this power window switch. This is where the problem is. I'll show you a few steps here. Uh, something to keep in mind is that um, if it's the driver's window, you do it from this driver's side, that's fine. You do it from this control panel. If it's one of the rear windows, you still do it all from this control panel, but you have to go physically go to that other door and press the switch on that window so that, so that will work on that side. So basically it's registering with this with that door to let it know that that's the window you wanted to go up. It will re it will reset here, but it still has to be reset on that one. So every step that I show you here will um, will reset it at this point, but then you need to go to that door and press the up switch at that door, okay? Um, so this is where the control unit is. So inside here is the control unit and it'll talk to the multiplex um, control module in behind the uh, the dash here in where your fuse box is so here's the problem we need to fix this part here okay for this you will need to know that you have your zero position your one position your two position and your three position all we're going to use is the zero and the two position so you start off by putting your key in and turn it to the second position then you put the window all the way down open the door so once you have the door open turn the key off to the off position press down but not automatic down then turn the key to the on position let it go turn the key off press down hold it not automatic, turn the key to the on position, let it go, turn the key off, press down, hold it, not in the automatic position, turn the key on, let it go, turn the key off, press down in the automatic position, turn the key on, let it go. Hold your window in the automatic up position. Let it go. And that's it. Okay, so at the end of all of those steps, if it's not the driver's side window and it is one of the other windows, I've, mm, the video went dead here. But um, what you need to do is you need to go to the door where the window is not working and you need to um, press the up switch on that window and hold it there for one second and then it will work from then on and um, so it works from this side now and it works from that window now as well and it's it's fully closed now as well so if it's not the driver's window and it's one of the other doors you have to set it from that other door i went through numerous different um youtube videos and stuff trying to find out why it wasn't working from this door um it turned out nobody 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 told me in any video that i needed to go to that door thanks for watching and um, i hope you hope you liked the video i hope it helps because um there's not a lot of help out there for this type of thing there, there is some and it's mainly for the driver's door there's uh, there's no information about passenger or rear doors um automatic drops so what you need to do is so you need to go to that door and reset it there so thanks very much for watching um it's a bit all over the place this this video 
but uh, I hope you like it anyway. Thanks very much. Um, please give us a comment or share or something. And um, take care. Bye-bye.